Hey everyone, uh, as a follow-up to the uh, How I Saved $700,000 video, I'm uh, putting this video together for the, uh, for the uh, CalVet College Fee Waiver Program. Uh, basically, uh, it's a how-to on how to, um, how-to on the how-to. It's a how-to for filling up the form, finding where it is, and, uh, and stuff like that. So. Um, when you go on the CalVet website, and, and we'll go here right now actually first before we go to the College Waiver uh, site that I already um, navigated to here uh, on my screen. So we'll go here. Uh, it's calvet.ca.gov. Let's do this one real quick. So when you go on the Calvet website, you'll see your uh, you'll see the first tab there would be Calvet serv services and benefits. So that's where you go. So click on education, and then you'll find um, your stuff here. Uh, let's see here. Click on Calvet. On the type oh, sorry it's right here <laughs> I'm a dumbass so college fee waiver so you click on this one so from the top is one two three four five college fee waiver so you click on that and you'll get to this page Okay, so once you get to that page, you'll see that there are four ways for you to avail of the College Fee Waiver Program. And um, for Plan A, you have to be, uh, so these are for uh, veterans who are totally disabled due to service-connected disabilities or whose death was officially rated as service-connected. Okay. Uh, child must be over 14 years old and under 27 to be eligible and if the child is a veteran then the age limit is extended to 30. Now um, the spouses are also eligible under this. Uh, if you're uh, totally disabled then your spouse is able to avail of this benefit. There's no age limit to this and they uh, uh, un unmarried surviving spouse as well, whose death has been rated as service connected is eligible. There's no age limit restrictions, and any dependent of any veteran who's been declared missing in action. Okay, now um, I wasn't. Uh, this is not what I used. What I used was Plan B. So Plan B, uh, because it's for my children. So the the child of a veteran who has a service connected disability or had a service-connected disability at the time of death or died of service-related causes is eligible. The child's annual income, income, which includes the child's adjusted gross income, plus the value of support provided by a parent may not exceed the annual income limit. Now, the annual income limit is um, what is considered The, the minimum is uh, so, so the maximum is twelve thousand so it's whatever you provide let's say you're 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 gonna say that you're gonna provide three thousand dollars for a year for the child and that's for their expenses you know uh, uh, so and then the 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 kids adjusted gross income of the kids working the total of that can't exceed twelve thousand dollars. Oh, it's it's poverty level. So, so it's poverty level and below. So that's the, uh, and and uh, in California that's um, uh, twelve thousand dollars. So the current academic year entitlement is based upon the previous calendar year's annual income. So, um, and we'll get into that. So th there are two steps to uh, to doing the CalVet uh, tuition waiver, and we'll go through that later after we go through the plans. Okay, uh, wartime service is not required. You just have to have some kind of service-connected disability, 
and there's no prohib prohibition against receiving concurrent VA Chapter 35 benefits. Plan C is for the National Guard. Um, so any dependent of any member of the California National Guard who in the line of duty while in active service to the state was killed, died of a disability resulting from an event that occurred while in active service, or is permanently disabled as a result of an event that occurred while in the service of the state is eligible. Surviving spouses are all, who have not remarried are also eligible. So on Plan D are Medal of Honor recipients and children of Medal of Honor recipients under the age of 27 may also qualify. Okay, benefits under Plan D are limited to undergraduate studies only, whereas on Plan B, you can do graduate study there. So your kids can, can go to graduate school uh, that's supported by the state, and you know we'll also get into that later. Um, under Plan D are limited to undergraduate studies only. So, so Plan D is only for undergraduate studies. Plan C it covers grad and uh, undergrad and Plan B and Plan A are also uh, covers uh, undergraduate school and graduate school. So you, your, your kid can basically go to law school or go to medical school without tuition and and, uh, and without any of the uh, the supplemental professional tuition which you'll see in uh, in med school and in, uh, in grad school. So they won't have to pay any of that. You just have to pay the, you know, just you know, just the local fees for the school, which, you know, it's it's really it's really inexpensive when you consider how much the tuition fees are and the professional fees are. So read the rest of this. This is really important. Um, the reason why my kids uh, had to graduate from uh, California high school was because they had to meet California resident residency requirements. Your kid graduates from uh, high school in, in California, they automatically are considered California residents. Um, now, some academic programs at these institu institutions are considered self supported. Okay, so those are not covered by the benefit. It has to be a state supported program. And if you look and um, if you look at the programs at the school, you just have to do a little bit of research which programs are, are state supported and which are not state supported. Most of them are state supported and those are covered by the CalVet tuition waiver. So um, now when you click on the application, this is where you're going to go. So so it's this, right? So let's let's go through um, let's go through the process. So I'll right click on this will open up in a new tab. So I'll open a new tab and it will download the PDF. It's a fillable form. So um, you fill up these areas and you'll see this. Let's see for, you know, so you fill in your last name, uh, the last name of your kid, first name of your kid, the initials, their social security number, their date of birth, whether they're married or single, their address right their phone number and their email now the relationship um, of mine was biological so it's a biological child or stepchild whatever and whatever applies to you right um, just uh, remember if it's an adopted child you have to produce the adoption paperwork okay uh, with a biological child the only thing you have to come up with is their birth certificate okay and you only have to do that once when you initially apply for the program for the yearly renewals of this because you have to renew this every school year so um, after the 17th of April where the uh, the the last day to file taxes are that's when you uh, that's when you apply for this uh, but you go to your um, you go to the um, um, franchise tax board and ask for the uh, income verification form for uh, for the CalVet tuition waiver and all of them all of the FTV uh, field offices are uh, are uh, pretty well versed in this a lot of people have been using this already so they know what to do so and then when you click here so the first time you apply for this you'll click on yes on have you applied for this benefit before I'm sorry when you the first time you apply you click on no 
Uh, and then you click on whether you're eligible to receive the VA educational benefits under Chapter 35, whether you're currently receiving it. Now, um, if your kid didn't work, you know, uh, then normally it'll be a zero, okay? And you'll have to put in here how much support you're going to give your child. I normally put anywhere between $2,000 and $3,000, which is pretty normal. Uh, for school supplies and transportation and books and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the stuff that you're going to have to provide. I normally put down three grand, right? Uh, just just remember that the three grand or whatever you're going to put in there, uh, plus the uh, the amount of uh, uh, pay that your child received for the year could not exceed twelve thousand dollars, or else you will not qualify for the benefit. Okay. Then for the school information, you just have to put in here which school they're going to go to, whether it's a California Community College or a University of California or a California State University. So those are the only schools that qualify, okay? And the academic year, so for for this year, it's, uh, to, you know, in the, for the incoming school year, it's, it's 2019 to 2020. So that's what you put in here. Now, for the veteran information, this is your information. So, last name, first name, middle initial, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory. Social security number, date of birth, and if it's, uh, if you know, if you're, you know, if, um, let's say you die next year, okay, they're still eligible to receive this, you know, your, your, um, um, your, your kids have to fill this out, right? Date of death, branch of service, active duty dates, your street address, city, state, zip code, telephone number, and your email. Okay, so what happens is when they send this out, you will get an email that they've sent this out that you'll receive a, a scanned copy of the paperwork that, you know, that your child will receive. Okay, um, and then if, you know, your, uh, your percentage of service connected disability from the VA. So for me, it's 20%, so I put 20% in here. Now, uh, you will qualify even if it's 0%, as long as you are rated at something. Even at 0%, you will qualify for this, as long as you're rated by the VA. If you're rated by the VA, even at 0% uh, service connected, as long as you're rated, you will qualify for this. Okay, and then, you know, if you're filling this for your, your dad that um, is deceased, you know, you, you have to put in there if this death was service connected or if your dad or mom had a service connected disability at the, at the time of death, either yes or no. Okay. Um, so this is the form that you VSD. 021. I've never had to pull this up, so I don't. I don't know how it looks like. I'm pretty sure you can. You can put this in a uh, Google search and pull this up. And student some dates. Okay. And then it also goes through the uh, the uh, four plans in here. And then you can print this out and sign it, and then you're good to go. Now. Um, For the tax information, you have to go to a uh, California Franchise Tax Board field office. So let's let's pull it up here. Wow. Go through uh, contact us. Office locations. There you go. These are the field offices. Okay, so um, 
so when I, you know, when I lived in San Diego, this is where I went. Uh, now my kids live in uh, live in West Covina, and this is the closest one, this is Santa Ana. So this is 600 West Santa Ana Boulevard. So these are the one, two, three, four, five era uh, places where you can go for the uh, for the franchise tax board, and you just go into the office and you request um, a income verification for the uh, California State uh, Veteran Tuition Waiver. And they'll uh, they'll produce that for you right then and there. So, what a piece of crap! But anyway, so this is the link. So it was it was in contact us and office locations. Anyway, well, sorry it took uh, it took so long. But anyway, uh, that's uh, that's how you get it done. So you, you once you get that income verification. You take that along with the um, the Calvet tuition waiver form that you filled out. They only need the first page, and it takes about three to four weeks to get it. So you want to file it early. So um, you know, I normally I go around the May time frame, go over there and uh, and um, and file this. You also have to find your uh, your local. Uh, California Department of Veterans Affairs in your location so um, there should be one there that's just close by let's see if there's a uh, there you go go to your local County Veterans Service Office so we click here hopefully this doesn't act up there you go so for each county City, there is one. San Diego, San Bernardino, Riverside, whatever. So you can go to any of these locations here. Click on. It. Let's say you're in. Uh, uh, for us in San Diego, I clicked on this, and this or this is these are the lo locations where, at their times when they when they're open. So anyway, um, I hope I was able to help. Uh, you guys uh, again this was a follow-up to my uh, earlier video about the uh, how much I saved using the uh, Calvet uh, tuition waiver um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if not the other the other button also works and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you